Hey, what is going on everybody? If you've been struggling to find the software for your iBuyPower computer and are looking for a fix, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix your RGB software on your iBuyPower computer. So the main reason you're probably missing the software from your computer is that you reset your computer. When you bought your computer, you probably had an application that looked just like this. When you reset your computer, it erased this application and you're looking how to download a new one. So what you probably did is went on Google and tried to go on the iBuyPower website for driver downloads and find the RGB software right here. So this is the software that I have right here and if I open it up, this pops up. It says error, a driver cannot be loaded and all this stuff. You hit OK. It comes up with another error. You hit OK. And back here, it says that a driver cannot be loaded to this device. You hit close and then you're stuck with this screen which just doesn't do anything. So I've actually found a fix for this problem. What you're going to want to do is go into the link in the description and go to this page right here. This is the page where you'll get the software from. What you want to do is find this link in the description, go to support, and at the download page, you'll see this ASRock Polychrome RGB software. What you're going to do is hit the global download and wait for it to install. Once you have it downloaded, you'll see this little thing in your downloads folder. Double click on it and get to the application page. Double click on this and hit run. Hit I accept to the agreement. Make sure to hit install and wait for it to install. Once it's installed, click finish, and now you'll see this application on your desktop. It looks like the same application that we just had, but it's a different version, which actually works with the iBuyPower computer. For some reason, the new version does not work, so you have to do it this way. Double click on the icon and hit yes to the security prompt. Now you should have the program that was pre-installed on your iBuyPower computer. If we change the settings, you can see that the colors change on the computer and work properly. This is the same application that came on the computer and is meant to work with it. If you guys found this video helpful and want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell for more notifications when I post. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.